Splunk SOAR is a security orchestration, automation, and response solution. Splunk SOAR helps you operationalize security so you can work smarter, respond faster, and strengthen your overall security posture. By automating repetitive security tasks like alert triage, Splunk SOAR can help you work smarter and free up an analyst's time to focus on more mission critical tasks. Through automated detection, investigation, and response, Splunk SOAR can help you respond to security threats faster and reduce your overall mean time to detection, investigation, and response. Because Splunk SOAR integrates your existing security tools to work together, it can help you get the most out of your current investments and strengthen your overall security posture. Let's take a tour of the Splunk SOAR user interface to show you how Splunk SOAR delivers these benefits. The Splunk SOAR main dashboard provides an overview of all your data and activity, notable events and their severity, playbooks, connections with other security tools, workloads, and a summary of return on investment from automated actions. Data is sourced from SIMs like Splunk Enterprise Security or tools like email applications via Splunk Source API. Screen can also be sorted and filtered by time period, data source, or user. Widgets on the screen can be toggled on or off or rearranged per your specifications. The return on investment summary shows key measures of the value of Splunk Soar, such as time saved and dollars saved. Splunk SOAR apps are the integration points between Splunk SOAR and other security technologies. Through apps, Splunk SOAR directs your other security tools to perform actions, for instance, tell virus total to check file reputation, Symantec to quarantine an endpoint, or Cisco Firewall to block an IP. At its core, Splunk SOAR app is a Python module that enables Splunk SOAR to connect to another tool's API. Splunk Store's app model supports integration with over 350 tools and over 2,100 different security actions, so you can connect and coordinate workflows across your team and your tools. You can also create custom apps using the App Wizard. Splunk Store playbooks automate security actions at machine speed. Playbooks execute a series of actions across your security tools in seconds versus hours or more if you perform them manually. For instance, a Splunk SOAR playbook can instruct your sandbox to detonate a file or tell your endpoint security platform to quarantine a device. By offloading these otherwise manual tasks, teams can focus their attention on making the most mission-critical decisions. Splunk SOAR comes with more than 100 pre-made playbooks right out of the box, so you can start automating security tasks right away. But how do you build playbooks? Well, Splunk SOAR's Visual Playbook Editor allows both developers and non-developers to build and edit playbooks with drag-and-drop ease. While constructing a playbook graphically, the Visual Playbook Editor generates all supporting code behind the scenes in real time. You create playbooks using function blocks and filters. Each block or filter dictates the playbook's order of operations. You can define a security action to execute, such as detonate a file, geolocate IP, check file reputation, and many other actions. You can even call another playbook from an existing playbook. Users can build and edit playbooks in this modern visual playbook editor you see here, or the classic Splunk SOAR Visual Playbook Editor you can see here. Splunk SOAR also provides event management. Analysts are often overwhelmed with a large volume of security events. Splunk SOAR makes event management easy by consolidating all events from multiple sources into one place. Analysts can sort and filter events to quickly identify high fidelity notable events and prioritize action. As you can see here, an ESCU rare process notable event from Splunk SIM or Splunk ES has been fired from a correlation rule. It represents a statistically rare process in the environment. Therefore, Splunk SOAR automatically investigates to determine if it's benign or malicious, freeing up valuable analyst time. Case management functionality is also built into Splunk SOAR. 
the investigation screen is a hub for user collaboration and case management. Analysts can collaborate to review the output of automated actions or playbooks, look at ingested data from the event, and make real-time decisions on the data. Features include artifacts where you can see detailed data that's been ingested into the Splunk SOAR platform, and you can browse the key value pair structure of the data. Click on any specific IOC to see its recorded history inside of Splunk SOAR. The timeline shows you a history of all activity that has taken place on an event. Reports. You can generate summary reports and more to share key insights about data and events or show the results of an investigation or resolution of an alert. Using the activity pane on the left side of the console, you can see a history of all automations and actions that have been run against a particular event. Analysts can chat back and forth about the event in the comments area with at mentions and more. Using the workbook tab right next to it, you can codify your standard operating procedures into reusable templates. Splunk SOAR supports custom and industry standard workbooks, like the included NIST 800 template for incident response. You can divide tasks into phases, such as detection analysis, containment, eradication, and recovery. You can assign tasks to team members, and you can document your work. Then, using the Guidance tab based on the type of event or data, the Guidance tab can recommend experts within your team or recommend playbooks and actions to run against the data. So let's put some of these case management capabilities to work. Let's now investigate an event and run actions against it. So from the Artifacts tab, Select File Reputation from the menu of available actions. This shows you all of your integrated security tools that can take this action against this ESCU where process. In this case, we'll select Virus Total, which flags this file as malicious without having to pivot to another security tool. Splunk SOAR can block the file by instructing the integrated endpoint security tool in your security infrastructure, like Carbon Black, to block the hash. We perform these actions manually, but remember, Splunk SOAR can perform all the actions we just executed automatically, using a reusable playbook when it sees the same type of an alert. Splunk SOAR's orchestration, automation, response, collaboration, and case management capabilities are also available from your mobile device using Splunk SOAR on Splunk Mobile. You can respond to security notifications without opening your laptop, you can triage events directly from the mobile app. You can run and view playbooks on the go. You can orchestrate security operations and response from anywhere, anytime, using the app on your phone. And finally, you can coordinate and collaborate with colleagues in real time to drive a rapid, thorough response, all from your smartphone. For a more in-depth look at Splunk SOAR, we encourage you to join the Splunk SOAR community. You can also participate in the Splunk SOAR community Slack channel, ask questions, chat with Splunk SOAR experts, and collaborate with other Splunk SOAR users.